So the first thing I'd like to talk about um, in our home inspection report is what we call our survivor's guide. Um, and people ask me, gee, Mark, what, what do I need a survivor's guide for? And I say to them, you know, this survivor guide is not for my benefit or your benefit. Um, it is because it's basically for the people um, that you leave behind so that they can help clean things up for you. For example, let's say um, when someone passes away, do they tend to be a little bit foggy um, or you know, and depressed or are they super clear thinking? Uh, obviously the latter, right? They're gonna they'll be a little bit foggy. Um, and what the survivor's guide does, it gives you the opportunity to plan now. Um, and one of the main things is like, for example, where are my important papers? Um, you know, when someone passes away, uh, let's say for example, a spouse has to continue social security benefits. They're gonna wanna see a marriage certificate. Um, they're going to want to look at things like, you know, social security cards. Um, you would you would find out um, old, 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 you know, the, where you, where's the location of your will? Um, where do I find, you know, your investments and, and your assets and your bank accounts and things of that nature? Um, and things like birth certificates. Where is all that stuff? And do we have that stuff all in one place or they tend to be scattered around the house? So that's what the survivor guide purpose is. You know where that stuff is, but someone who is there to have, unfortunately have to settle your estate, um, may not know where those things are. And without those things, unfortunately, you're, you're not gonna move very far uh, in settling your estate. So, uh, so we take a look at those things.